Welcome to Crash Racer. Today we're playing Wreckfest and we're going to do some online racing. First race today then is going to be at the Death Loop. Five laps around here, 16 of us, and these are all going to be A class races today. I'm going to do four A class races and I'm going to use the Speedbird for this one. Not normally what I use, oh big tumbler there on the left and a slight tap from behind, we we'll just about managed to collect it together before we went over that last ramp, right can we sling it round the inside here, a lot of hammerheads in this race by the look of it, need to get around this loop clean if I can, let's follow the lead around, we are through safe I think, where the hell did that come from, where the hell did that, was that a Grand Duke or something like that, where did that come from? There's no way that that got round that, that quick. Unless it slipped under the loop or something, maybe. Don't know if you can uh, do that. Oh, that hammerhead is riding round the outside of the walls there. Bit of a clever trick, that one. I've seen people do that before, riding round the outside of that first right-hand corner. It causes quite a bit of damage to the car, but it does uh, push you round quicker. Watch it, we've spun here after a good start. And there's that Grand Duke ahead of us, let's see if they do anything shifty. No, they're going on the loop as normal. I can't, I don't understand how that possibly got ahead of me on that first lap when uh, it was me and this car in front actually who were the lead too. And then just after exiting the loop, that was in the lead somehow. Anyway, over we come for the start of the third lap, fourth place now. The gap behind has just opened up, which is good. There's the leader, so not too far behind. Can we sneak up the inside here? Don't want to get into a battle with each other though. Clear from cars coming left. We're going to be side by side going around here. Hopefully, there's going to be no one joining. Whoa, one in the middle, not in our way though. Okay, got to get a good corner around here to hold this position. That fourth place is still right behind me. We are through, okay, two laps to go. Right behind second place. First place has pulled a bit ahead though. Again, we should see them coming over here, I guess. Yeah, there they are, just to the left. Oh, red car on the outside, and I've taken that slightly wide as well. At least it means I can get a fast exit. Slow back marker there. Are they going to be stuck? Yeah, they're stuck right in the middle of that uh, death loop. That's going to cause problems for some of the cars behind. Fortunately, we uh, saw them <laughs> setting up ready for that. Oh, one right over the top. Okay, last lap. Is there any way we can catch this second place at least? No chance of catching the leader. Unless, of course, they have an accident, which can definitely happen, especially if you uh, come a cropper going around the death loop. Oh, we've taken that too now. I was trying to take a nice tight line and uh, it was a bit too tight loop at the moment is clear there's going to be a car joining that soon as well though yeah there it is there oh that I think that um, Grand Duke did sneak underneath so maybe that's what they did on the first lap as well oh second place has caught the barrier second place caught the barrier right on the uh, final straight made a mistake which has let us grab a second place a good fun race then, not a bad lap time, the leader was uh, really fast around there though. Second online race today is going to be at the Sandstone Raceway. Switched into a hammerhead for this one and there's 14 of us in this race. As always, Ooh sideways managed to get pushed straight though four wide I was just about to say as always key thing is to get a good start and that is not a good start always difficult just that the, the first 10 seconds of any race it's key just to try and stay out of trouble and just hold your position not get pushed wide but uh, fortunately didn't work and we are pretty much near the back right at the back of this pack now One of the trickier circuits I find there's a few of these uh, races that are really quite difficult where you've got nasty uh, nasty curbs on the side of the corners and also it's quite open and there's lots of elevation changes so very often you're just coming up the 
brow of a hill as you're turning into a corner and it's you know it makes the corner like a blind corner really you can't exactly see the uh, the corner until you're right on top of it so very easy to run wide and misjudge it and likewise you've got these high sided corners as well which it's really easy to get your inside wheels over and even flip over sometimes or oh, taken that slightly wide tried to take it too quick and just clip the barrier that's allowed that one to get up inside me sixth place though that's not too bad and that one has gone really wide are they trying to do something clever now I think that one, I don't think it was intentional they've actually recovered it really well but uh, another one's gone wide on the right by the look of it was that a leader yeah it was a leader so we're up to fourth place now as we cross the line for the start of the third lap I'm just a little bit wide here so I'm going to have to cut back fast that's given me a really good cut back actually underneath they just tapped my back end now as I was trying to come past so they're going to be back up the inside on this corner I'm not going to be able to protect that we're going to be slowing each other down here and that's going to allow that little pack behind us on the map to catch up which is not what we want those everyone's gone wide with all, all three of us have gone wide I've managed to recover it the quickest right again up over the top of here oh, again great overtake just on the inside through the uh, sent all the tyres spinning and now we've got another car right behind us that's a different one to before so I think we are now the leaders what are they eight seconds ahead and now there's a big group of us all together I could really do with trying to break away slightly oh that was a bit dangerous tried to cut that and uh, got it a little bit wrong and again that's allowed the shadow of third place as was to uh, come past just looking back we have got a couple of seconds gap second and third now to the car behind so again if we can try not to battle too much with each other in actual fact they've dropped back after they just touched my back end oh god that was a mistake that is exactly the time I didn't need it. I've just pulled a little gap back to third place. I need to get a good few corners, clear it, and again I've gone wide on that. I'm trying to trying to go too fast really. I need to slow down slightly and uh, get some nice clean lines through these corners here. With any luck I can try and break away from that little group behind the third and the fourth place they're quite close to each other as well so they they might start battling over that third place and slow each other down still right behind me at the moment though I did race the second half of this lap a little bit neater and get this turned in that's not too bad yeah I've pulled just a little bit of a gap back now If I can keep this neat and tidy as we start this last lap. Yeah, pulled a bit of a gap now, so don't have to pressure myself too much to race around too quickly. That's not the leader ahead, that's a back marker. Leader's still about seven seconds ahead. Oh, we've made a big mistake there. Damn, after working hard to pull a good gap, messed that up totally. Fortunately, still ahead and still a couple of seconds ahead, so. If I don't make another big mistake like that, we're still going to be okay for second. Okay, up over the top of here and sling it left, but not left too early. Power down on this straight. Yeah, we've still got two seconds back to third and fourth. There's the winner over the line, and we're not going to be too far behind. A little bit untidy on that uh, last lap, but fortunately I had pulled enough gap to uh, get away with it so it's a second place 49.1 second lap for us pretty competitive actually with most of the other cars today's third online race is going to be at the Espedalan Raceway we're going to do three laps around here and I've switched cars again I'm going to be in the Speed Demon this time I'd like to try and mix up a little bit as opposed to it's just too easy to stick with the same car all the way through. We've had a good push through that chicane and we're up into an early lead actually. Yeah, again, that first part of the race is so critical and that chicane can obviously be absolute chaos. 
there. If we can get our back end out of the way here though, just got to watch while there's cars close behind us. Let's get our back end out of the way out of some of these corners. We have actually pulled a little bit of a gap already, yeah. Which is good, especially for this corner coming up. This is a prime location to uh, be lunged from from behind. You have to break quite hard to turn into that corner. I've taken that pretty quickly though. And yeah, you can see on the map there's quite a few overshot or been pushed wide by the cars behind. We've done a good job here of pulling four or five seconds back to second, third and fourth. Then we come then, good first lap. Just got to watch this uh, chicane because even without other cars around it's very easy to get this wrong. That's alright, that's clean enough. Probably could have taken it slightly quicker, but I'm still probably going to be taking it quicker than the cars behind who were two or three wide coming through there. Is that a back marker on the map I can see already? Yeah, there's a back marker, so I've just got to be careful coming past. Careful they don't swerve as they see us. No, we're all right. Don't know if they stopped or just slightly moving, but uh, yeah, they didn't didn't uh, try and take us out at all as we came past. Gap back is still about four seconds. That second, third, and fourth have split it, uh, split apart now, though. There's sort of a gap between them all. That second place there, just coming round that final corner. So last lap then, and we've got about a three or four second gap back to second as it stands. No back markers in sight, just looking on the map ahead as well. No, can't see any back markers, so that's good. Can concentrate just on uh, hopefully bringing this home on this final lap. Just keeping an eye on that second place all the time. There's still three seconds behind. There they are, there again, well out of punting distance for this, uh, for this tight corner. And then of course the, the last corner of the lap as well, that's a really tight one as well. Again, you do not really want to be going into that corner with someone right behind you. God, that gap suddenly closed down to two seconds. They are gaining. Don't think they're gonna have enough unless I mess this up myself. There's a bat marker as well on the straight here. Again, just gotta watch the don't try and take me out as we come past now. It's the same car as before and we are through. So it's a win. 1 minute 2 was our fastest lap, 1 minute 0.9 was the second place, so give it another lap or two and they would have been uh, right up alongside me. Fourth and final online race today then, and we're going to be at the Furwood Motor Centre. I have switched back, we're back in the Hammerhead RS for this final race of the day. 14 of us, 6 laps around here, I'm going to try and get to the inside here and just hold a narrow line, that normally works well on the starts and it has worked brilliantly <laughs> that's worked better than I can hope but yeah normally in these online races where there's a lot of cars going into a relatively tight first corner inside is where you want to be every time you don't even have to go uh, too quick but obviously you can uh, push it fairly quick through the through the inside because you've got the cars outside you and also if you get punted from behind as well again it's the cars outside you sort of protect you from being <laughs> whacked off the circuit right we've got cars right behind us and that's a great overtake right up the inside wasn't a bad corner from ourselves and kept it fairly tight but they managed to uh, push their way through can we return the favor here no oh they've turned in too early and they are right in the way that's allowed me to get past yeah i was looking for a gap up the inside there wasn't going to be one so i uh, backed out and i think they were just trying to whoa that's not nice, damn big hit, let's push him into the barrier. Let's allow this car to get past. Ooh, can we either spin them or at least get round? Oh, they, did they reset or something? Seemed to just suddenly vanish as I was up alongside them. Back in the lead then. Looks like a group of at least three cars. Yeah, it could be three cars fairly close behind. Oh, big hit from behind, yeah. As always on these slow corners, it's uh, you're always going to set yourself up for that sort of thing. wasn't really much I could do about that.
lot of these quite slow corners, quite tight corners on this track where you do have to swing in and of course that leaves the side of your car really exposed to be hit. Love this corner as well, this sort of little section looping around to the left. You come down sort of, it's, it's elevated so as you drop down you sling it around to the left. Oh, Stella trying to get up the inside, they've taken that very quick. That's going to be, if I can hold my position though, that's going to be put me on the inside for this next corner and they're going to have to back out, they're probably going to try and undercut me. They have managed to but again that's just put them alongside but that is going to put them on the inside for this corner. I've just pulled ahead slightly so I may be able to protect it but a uh, oh, big hit from behind. They were going in a lot quicker than I was there. Whether that's just because I braked a bit early or whether that's because they were going to take a punt I'm not sure. But again, if you're going into a tight corner with a car right behind, I find braking slightly early is probably the best way to go. Because if you go in quick, you've got nowhere to go when they hit the back of you. Managing to keep up with these lead two. Okay, uh, again, the Stella's right up the inside. They're like overtaking on that corner. Again, brilliant overtake. Nothing really I could do to protect, protect that, wouldn't have said. And can I sneak back up inside? Up alongside, but I've just managed to push them wide not past though and they've got the inside for this and they're going to be able to take what line they want coming into this next corner we have managed to get back up the inside so if we can get a good corner through here that's put us back up into third place this has been a great battle and <laughs> it's we've not lost uh, not lost the back of these lead too we've had a, a really good view of the battle that they're having it's been a really good race I've, not really had a chance to challenge the lead to in fact this is probably about as close as I've been again that Stella's up there do you know what they uh, I mean whether it's the way they drive it or the car it's probably a combination of the two they take that last section back there that double right hand corner really well they seem to be able to maintain a lot of speed through there whereas uh, with the hammerhead it, I mean it controls really well but uh, once it starts skidding slightly you do lose momentum Stella is right on the back of second place now as I say we've got a great view of this I wish I was just a half a second further forward and be right involved in it but uh, unless they take each other off we might have to second, uh, settle for fourth place here we're well away from uh, fifth place again I've been slightly untidy through there let's see what the Stella does on its favourite corner look at that Again, the grip it's got around there, it's just flown past uh, one of them and I thought it was going to overtake the leader as well, but not quite. We're going to be near enough to see this grandstand finish coming up to up towards the end. Who's going to get it? Is the Stella going to try and take it on the inside? I think the Hamed's got it, has it? Yeah, win for the Hamed, Stella in second, and then this orange car here. Third place, and we are fourth for that one. 48.6 seconds for us, that's not bad, a few 47 seconds, but uh, overall pretty competitive and a nice close race all the way round. Well, that's the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and see you soon.